dads were were so disappointed, you know, to to put in an incredible regular season, to put ourselves in a in the position where we get to host. You know, we we wanted to to go another round, and and you know, obviously our goal was to to win this tournament. So the the group's incredibly disappointed with with uh, the loss. Tale of two halves, right? You get down early, and then, now you got to start chasing. But saw some offensive spark in the second half. But what happened early? Yeah, I think the you know if you have a momentary lapse in concentration, or or you a momentary lapse in awareness, um, and a team punishes you as South Carolina did, and now now you've got to chase the game. It, it's really difficult. Um, we. We came out in the second half, and it was different. Um, I want to say we had 28 shots, which obviously the quality of each of those shots is a little different. Um, but that's that's 28 attacks where you know that you you have to be better. And you get into the final third, and you have that many chances. You have that much possession higher up. The quality of the cross, the quality of the run in the box, the quality of the finish. There's absolutely opportunities for us to score two goals and to get back in into that game. So that that's also disappointing because I think we're, you know, we're certainly capable of going two 0 down and, and winning three um, two. And the second half showed that that we we can bounce back and we can compete. I mean, the, the level of that game certainly rose in terms of the competitiveness and and the fight. But if we had started there as opposed to waited, you know, then I don't think this game is uh, ends up this way. What was your message to the team at halftime? Well, the message to the team is that the first 45 minutes was gone and now that we have to score two goals. We have to be so much better in the heart and that we have to attack them and that, and that the decisions in the final third have to be better. The quality of everything that we do in the final third has to be better and we have to go and get two goals. Why do you think the team didn't come out as strong? You know, I think I think the way the game started, I, I think we were motivated for the game. I don't think that's that's an issue at all. But I think, you know, we we got the ball and, and we started to attack. And then rather than recognize that, okay, there's no way we're going to be able to continue this attack, we're not going to create a chance, um, and so we should we should hold the ball, right? Because that you saw that in the second half, right, where where we begin an attack and South Carolina um, recovers, and then we decide to keep the ball and then and then get it get organized so that we can attack. And at the very first part of that game, we didn't do that, and and so we would go to attack, we turn the ball over, and then now they're attacking us and we're disorganized. That probably happened five six times when we got that ball, uh, and and their goals came from it. With this possibly being the last home game, what do you have to say about the way the fans have supported you throughout the season? Oh, amazing, amazing crowds. And I think that, that too is a disappointment for us because we want to, you know, we want to deliver for the fans. The support's been incredible. We want to give them wins. I, we gave them lots of excitement in the second half, but, but we didn't give them the goal to really lift the, you know, our team and, and, and the fans. So we're just, I'm so grateful that night nations come out the way that they have and, and how they've supported us what was the difference between the south carolina you met in columbia versus the south carolina that came out tonight i i think part of that comes from them scoring right so you see when you encourage a team by giving them openings by by giving them a goal then they can kind of smell okay i can i can feel like we can do it whereas i think in that first game it was more about what we did, which which was we got on top of them, we got the first, we got the goals, and then now you you have a different kind of mentality that exists within the game, um, and I think that first game ended up being a little bit different to the second game in that way. Several days ago against J, JMU, you, you know the, the the loss kind of came when the Knicks weren't able to finish. JMU got up two goals ahead this time around. South it was the Getting, getting out of the gate. So would you say that there was any other differences you saw between the JMU game and this one? And what do you think needs really needs to be addressed as you go forward into the tournament? 
I mean, it's, it's, it's just, we, we need to be able to, to play at the level, and, and that, that involves also doing the right things um, for 90 minutes. Whether it's the start of the game, whether it's the, the end of the game, um, we, we didn't start this game doing the things that, that have got us to this point. And in particular, turning the ball over as we transitioned on them and then, then transitioning against us, which is different than how we've played in, in other, um, especially after the first couple games of the season where, where I think we figured that out. So, you know, and then JMU, we lost our grip. Um, so we have to play 90 minutes, whether it's the first part of the game, the middle part of the game, the last part of the game, it's a 90 minute game. And if you lose concentration for one moment, the, every team we play, is good enough to punish you for it. Last week we talked about the hunters and the hunted. Have you noticed a bit of an intensity difference? Uh, and maybe on your side, maybe a little a lull, a little. Yeah, I, I mean, I think there's you have your level of concentration, right? You have your attention, you have intensity, and then you have intent, right? As like the three performance ideas, and so I think we lost concentration in the beginning of that game, which is connected. All three of those tend to be connected, right? So the intensity wasn't quite high enough. The concentration wasn't high enough at the beginning of the game. And as a result, we're, we're on the back foot early. So you're disappointed in this, but what, what do you think it means big picture in terms of uh, hosting NCAA tournament? Uh, yeah, how I damaging is this loss? I don't know. You know, I'd, I'd have to see our, um, our RPI didn't shift too much from the JMU game so we we stayed at three RPI wise and so I'd need to you know I, I, I'd i be surprised and if, if we weren't in the tournament right I think I think we're solidly in the tournament um, I don't know hosting not hosting I don't know how this loss has impacted the RPI my I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll host is it upsetting though you had a lot of things within your control that's right you want to control what you can control yeah. and these are things that you could control yeah it's 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 disappointing um i know the guys are disappointed we're we're, we're all disappointed with with the result um can this make your team better though that they know those moments of concentration they've seen what happens now when you let down a bit i i, I think it has to i i think we wanted to learn lessons from that jmu game um and to carry them forward into this game, and you know this is this is something that we, we we if we show up and we are our best for 90 minutes, with without waiting to reach the right level of concentration, intensity, and to and to play the way that we want to play, we we can beat any team in the country, and and, and we've shown that. So that's that's how we have to show up. And whichever team wins it all, we'll do that. Whichever, absolutely. Whichever team wins it all will do that. And and there's all sorts of different stories that ha through through kind of the years of teams that have been eliminated from their conference playoffs and then rebounded and really said, okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna focus at the right level. We're gonna we're gonna train at the right level, and we're gonna show up at the right level. And and have gone deep in the tournament. So you know now we'll you know we'll we'll recover the guys, we'll we'll refocus and we'll get ready for whatever whatever the NCA tournament holds for us. Do you feel like after the last couple of weeks of playing multiple matches in a week, now you have like a week plus to kind of recover and to end prepare before you not even you figure out who your tournament opponent yeah. is on the 13th and then you well, then a few days after that you actually go do it that's a pretty long amount of time after a couple of weeks of multiple matches for you know multiple matches less yeah time. yeah I, th I think that's one of the things um where I, and i've been in this situation with with other teams especially as an assistant coach back a few years where okay you got eliminated you it's not it's not what you wanted but then now you've gotten to recover and really kind of re-energize yourself and get focused and be ready for the tournament. And then, and then we've made deep runs. Um, so, you know, at, 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 at this moment, it's not like we're sitting here going, okay, there's a silver lining. But the reality is, is that, okay, we're, we're going to get time to recover, to get healthy, 
to refocus, and, and then we're going to turn our attention to being really good when uh, whatever team we play in the NCAA tournament, being ready for that team. And if you don't, then it'll be more of this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you've got to do, you've got to do everything possible to be ready, because this is not, this part's not fun. Upset, very upset. I know you. Everybody knows from the second half we did that this team can do way more. That this is not. But the first half was, I don't know. We were not focused focused enough. We didn't do our best, and then knockouts, football is that, that happens. Considered two goals, couldn't come back. Even though the second half was very very good, we just didn't equalize the game and then came back. It's tough chasing early. You give up the early goal, especially. Yeah, it's very, very tough after, you know, even though we have been in situations where we started back in the, in the, res, uh, in the results, but it's very difficult. It's very difficult. It's, it's okay. Sometimes it's not just not our day. With this possibly being the last home game for you, what do you have to say about the way the fans have supported the team throughout the season? Very good, very good. Since I came here, uh, I was... Kind of impressed this year because it's been improving every day or every year. Sorry, every year that I've been here, it's getting better and better. More fans at home, and I think it's part of. Um, it comes from us as well. We didn't doing better every year. We bring more fans, and the, the community supports us way more. South Carolina, last time you guys played them, they really kind of made that offensive push late in the game. This time around, it kind of came early in the game. What was different about the South Carolina this time around? I think it came, came come from us. We gave them too much space in the first half. We're not focused enough, as I have been said already. And then the, that happens. They, they scored two goals, and then we couldn't come back. Since getting that number one ranking, uh, you know, we talked about going from the hunted, you know, the hunters to the hunted. It, it feels a little bit of a different mindset uh, being chased now by everybody. Yeah, I, I told you guys in the interview that we put a huge target in our back, in our back and everybody wants to beat us. But that's since the beginning of the year. Since we beat Clemson away, everybody's seen us, and then they have a huge eyes on us. Every time they want to come here or we go away, it's just like they are playing the last game of our lives. And actually, they, they just wanted more than us the first half, and then but we are lucky they didn't, they didn't win the game. What was the conversation at a half, and, and how do you guys rally there in the second half? Yeah, coach just told us to, that we're not good enough. It was not good, good enough, and we had to do better. And then that's why we came back in the second half way better, chasing the game. We had so many opportunities, but couldn't equalize. You did help the team get a chance at equalizing late in the game with that free with that free kick goal. Just what was kind of going through your mind as you were stepping up to the ball right there? I was focused. I was focused. As soon as I put the ball, people were around me, but I knew I was going to score that goal. I just had in my mind that uh, I had a, a chance to help the team, and then that was the goal of my the, get the play of my life. And then you had a lot of chances after that goal too. Yeah, yeah, just unlucky. You end up having over the course of these last few, few games. What's it been like to go from like starting conference play, playing one match a week, versus these last few matches where you've had to play multiple matches a week? It's kind of difficult for us because there's no much time to practice and then rest as well. But um, it's it's football, and even in college or professional football is the same. You're playing on Wednesday, you're playing on Sunday, so there's no much time to rest. And you have just to rest on our own, recover, do everything right, and have the right mindset to come here and win games. It's tough to host this and bow out so early. Yeah, very difficult. We don't want to come here on Wednesday and see all the teams playing instead of us. It sucks, but it happens. Now that your fate is kind of out of your hands, what's the mindset going forward for the next week before uh, the tournament play starts? Keep training, keep doing everything we can, co uh, controlling the things that I, I now control, and just hope that we, we get selected to the NCAA. You think you've earned the right to host in the NCAA? I think so. I think so. We have a, a high ranking right now. I don't know how it's going to be on Tuesday or Tuesday. But I think we, we can possibly. What do you want to take? What do you guys want to take with you from these last couple of matches? What do you want to learn from these last two matches as you go into the tournament? What do you want to remember going into the tournament? First, the, the, from the second half, this team can do way better. And from the first half, they cannot give space to other teams because they want to kill us and we cannot get killed.
you still have soccer ahead of you, though. There's still games that you're going to play in this NCAA. Yes. yes. Yeah, so there's still time to prove yeah, exactly. that we you, will. you we live will. up to that one number yes. one ranking. Yeah. 